We're here at the Grand Canyon right now, Havasupai Indian Nation. We're going down to plant some fruit trees with the Fruit Tree Planting Foundation. I think this is a really important cause, We're trying to strengthen the community and build some relations with some uh, native people. And we're about to jump in a helicopter for the first time. This is gonna be nuts. Yeah, it's very serious. <laughs> There are only pockets left where Indians have not been forced to move. One such place is literally a great pocket in the earth, the Grand Canyon of Arizona. We are in Havasupai, the most isolated Indian reservation in America. Havasupai means people of the blue-green water, and that's what brought these Native Americans here more than 700 years ago to winter out seasons of hunting and gathering in a homeland that once ranged over seven million acres. My name is Jem Aiken, I'm with the Fruit Tree Planting Foundation and uh, this is part of our reservation preservation project. We're just getting the last batch of fruit trees dialed in here, categorizing them, organizing them. I think we got over, over 17 different types of fruit trees. We're just gonna plant those up amongst the land. I think this, this is a good step for uh, the community with the fruit, fruit trees that you brought. This has been a real exciting experience being here at the Havasupai uh, community and distributing trees and sharing information on how to plant, how to prune, and how to take care of these fruit trees. These fruit trees will be a benefit for this community for many, many years to come and the gratitude that people have expressed on receiving these trees has, has been absolutely, absolutely overwhelming. Thank you. I'd like to uh, say thank you to the individuals that donated the trees to the tribe. And um, this is how we uh, save the land and save the people for future generations to come. Roots from the trees will be used uh, as a part of survival for the tribe. So we just finished planting our community orchard here at the Havasupai Native American Reservation. As you can see, we have over 100 trees that are available for anybody from the tribe to come in and enjoy um, for many, many years to follow. We have to continue uh, committing and dedicating our, our lives to the land. Our community has uh, begun to uh, bring back the uh, culture, agriculture, into our, our homeland through the fruit trees. This area is so remote um, that it's, it's tough to get a lot of fresh produce down here, so we're, we're trying to uh, supply the community down here with fresh produce and uh, a lot of these kids that we see running around are going to grow up in this orchard and um, you know for decades they're going to grow up with nutrition coming from not only this orchard but also the trees we're distributing uh, directly to families. I'm glad this is really happening. Finally, it's one of my dreams coming true. Beautiful thing. Yeah, and I, I feel good. It's, it gives me a, self, a sense of uh, accomplishment, you know, every time I do something good like this, not for me, but for the people. This is something that actually is really meaningful and it's able to actually give people food and promote sustainable agriculture. Both people and Mother Earth need more fruit trees. So far, we've brought in almost up to 1,500 trees, and that, to me, is a very large footprint that we're all leaving here for us and the children and the people to come. So it's really meaningful to be able to interact with the people and you know, to be able to help them in some way is, is great. I just don't know how 
much to say how much I appreciate because there's not any words to really express my true feeling of how I feel right now. But it's a sense of uh, appreciation for what is life, including the plant life that sustains us. And that's what they're there for, their purpose. And, and they're happy to come into this land here. I can see the plants are happy. They're going to love it here.